Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace back again with another video. As you can see, we're starting off right off the bat. Yes, Sad Nin Dragon is indeed me. Uh, just to prove it, just for shits and giggles, whatever. This video is an update on my double permaban. I phoned Nintendo, just got off the phone with the guy a little while ago. And I gotta say, right off the bat, pleasantly surprised. I can't disclose everything that we talked about in the conversation, uh, but I can talk about some of it. First of all, the most politest, kindest, nicest, friendliest, forgivingest Nintendo employee I have dealt with in a very, very long time. I have to applaud him on that. Absolutely was very nice to talk with this guy. Uh, his name is Brian. Very, very solid person. Uh, he... I don't even know where to start. I told him my situation. He he said, like, he himself isn't one of the admins, so he can't do anything. Uh, and he was talking about... I was telling him how some people out there honestly think the admins are, are still robots or whatever. But he was just like, no, they're real. I'm just like, I know they're real. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I explained the situation... And I told him, I read him literally off my gamepad the post about me uh, saying, yeah, sure, I'll friend you again, just, uh, you know, unfriend me on your other account, yada, yada, yada. And he agreed. He was just like, yeah, that's really strange. And he was talking about how he works like 40 hours a week, and so he doesn't really get much time to use me versus he's barely used it at all. Uh, but he's aware that people have had complaints and everything. And we kept talking and talking, yada, yada, yada. Um, and so uh, he did file an appeal with the admins much like the other guy did before who didn't get anywhere but they he he uh, had the ad or asked the admins himself in the message or whatever to lift that one deleted post of mine which in fact would if it was lifted would bring back oba dash nin dragon i don't know about cryptic uh he wouldn't he didn't say he or he said he didn't know if that would bring that one back either uh so that's fine for now anyway but um yeah, and then uh, we kind of went a little off topic talking about, uh, I gave him some criticism of Nintendo talking about how they don't seem to care for their fans anymore, and he said, yeah, I totally understand, I get it, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, so he was definitely helpful. He told me a few stories uh, that he even, he even said to me that he can't, he shouldn't really tell me because it could risk his job, but uh, so I'm not going to disclose those stories, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> but uh, he was really really good guy and I said it's too bad you can't uh, like write down a notice to give to the higher-ups at Nintendo with uh, some of my criticisms and some of my complaints that I want to share and he's like well actually I can do that I was like oh really so yeah I spent a few minutes t telling him like some of the complaints about like how it doesn't feel like Nintendo listens to their fans anymore they don't care they're uh, they're out of touch um, and that they've made mistakes that they really could have easily avoided and I even brought up Iwata uh, on a few points and uh, I talked about how we were talking about how yeah Nintendo wants to be family friendly and they're trying to protect the kids and I even told them I'm like yeah that's perfectly fine that they want to but the kids aren't innocent anymore and then uh, and we, t we had a bit of personal discussion about personal things in our lives uh, like how I had told him that that other lady had told me uh, don't post anything your own grandmother wouldn't say and uh, so uh, and I said, well, my grandmother swears, and he ended up telling me a story about uh, his <laughs> grandmother, but I'm not going to disclose that because it's not my business, and not in any way, it's not information that should be shared, but that's beside the point. Um, so yeah, he took my criticisms, he wrote it down, filed a, uh, a form, and he said he'd pass it up to his bosses, and they would read it, and uh, as for the banning lift, we'll find out uh, in apparently a few days, two or three days or so, I guess, probably Monday is my guess. Uh, I'll be getting a phone call back from his boss, so I'll be talking with uh, with that person. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, so it was uh, it was actually a really nice conversation, and I gotta say, he this Brian guy, he literally uh, saved partially anyway. Me literally just I don't even know how to phrase it going um what do you call it like i was literally contemplating being done with the gaming industry completely like ditching the current 
uh, state of the gaming industry, ditching Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, and maybe doing a curveball and going with the Amazon console or something. Like, because I just I don't like the way that the current, uh, you know, the three companies in charge of the gaming industry, basically Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, they're all three of them are shit. And if you're gonna deny that, you're just fucking in denial. But yeah, it was it was a good call. He forwarded my uh, criticisms and complaints up to Nintendo. Uh, which is nice. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I know I'm not going to get my hopes up too high. I, I honestly don't think the admins are going to give a flying fuck, and I don't think that they're going to unban uh, OBA and Dragon. If they do, the good news will be that the Adventures of Dragon will be able to resume, because I know a lot of my fans are wanting the rest of the story, because it's at a cliffhanger, a very vital cliffhanger. Um, and I talked to him about all my imposters and everything, and and this, the terrible advice they the last Nintendo guy had given me, and he was just like, "Yeah, they probably shouldn't have told you that." <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It was uh, it was a good call, good phone call. So yeah, I'm in a slightly better mood, but we'll find out what happens in a few days, and I'll do an update video. Uh, I was gonna do a video that was like a depressing uh, video where I was talking about you know my future plans. Uh, for the gaming industry and everything, but I might hold off on that. I might still do it depending on what happens at the end of this. Um, but yeah, let's get a round of applause for uh, that Brian guy. And uh, yeah, I'm Original Blood Ace. I'm going to wrap up this video. Make sure you stay tuned. More videos coming soon, as always.